Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Eric here today just to bring you a quick product um, that I picked up off of Amazon. And this is something that a lot of people can use. It'll really come in handy if you're doing a longer span or something where you won't be able to take a tape measure and stretch it out as far as you need to to get a good accurate measurement. I think this is going to be the solution to your problem. Let's check it out. All right, so what I have here is this is the Bosch Blaze GLM-20. This is a laser measure. I don't know if you all are familiar with these or ever even heard of it, but this is something that I was, um, let me see, try to get you a little better visual. There we go. This is something that I saw, and um, I can't remember if I was just, I watched so many different channels on YouTube, and I think I've seen someone using it. I can't remember who it was, but like I say, it's a laser measure, and it measures up to 65 feet within an eighth inch of accurate measurement. Now that's pretty, pretty good. You know, I don't think anybody that's doing just trim carpentry work and all that, if you're doing just fine tuned carpentry work, may not be um, the, um, a tool for you, but someone that's going out like giving estimates, quotes and things of that nature, and you're just trying to come in real quick. If you're on a ladder, trying to reach out and get a quick measurement, I think this will be the perfect tool for that job. So let's get it opened up real quick and get it out of the package and let's see how it looks. And this one actually does come with the batteries. Just got a little door here on the back. Just pop it down. Got a little piece of paper in there or whatnot. Stick your batteries in. And we should be good to go. Now it's just got a single button operation. Okay, now right now I'm just holding it up as you can see. You can see right now where I'm standing this is saying that this is three foot four inches and three quarter inch. Now what we're gonna do, let's set it up. I'm gonna move the camera. We're just gonna do a quick comparison. Right now I've got it sitting at the edge of my workbench and I'm gonna take my tape and we'll stretch it out and see how close the tape is compared to this. Okay, so I don't know if you all can see. Let me see if I can zoom in. Hopefully you all can see that right now this measure is reading two foot six inches and one eighth. So, uh oh, excuse me. Got off the mark just a little. Let me pull you back out just a hair. Okay, now you can see. Let's see what it's still reading. Yep, two foot six and one eighth inch. So now I'm going to take the tape measure and see how close it is. I am showing two foot six and one eighth inch. Hold on, I want you all. Let me take the camera and get you all a better angle so you won't think I'm just saying that. Okay, like I say, let's see if I can get you zoomed in here. Well, this thing's not wanting to focus. I'm trying to, let me see if I shine a little light, if it'll help. So you can see what the, the digital reader is showing. There we go. Well. You can see two foot six, okay. Now, we're gonna take the tape measure. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. It's back. Two foot six. There you go. Now, as I said, we'll take the tape measure. I'm just going to hold it, butt it up tight, and you can see it's reading two foot six. It's not going to focus, but it is reading two foot six and one eighth inch. Okay. Now, one of the cool things, it turned off. Let's turn it back on. Okay. Now, one of the cool things I like about this is once you have, once you have your mark, only thing you have to do, hit that same button. And as you can see, let's see. Well, what it's displaying is hold. So what it does is it captures that measurement that you just pulled. And you don't have to sit up there and remember what it was. So you can take it to wherever your cutting table is or whatnot, and you can cut your material. So, so and as you also see, I hit the button once more, and it holds that measurement up top. And then you can go down and take a second measurement. And as you can see, it's holding both measurements that I just captured. So I think that's going to be a pretty good tool there. It'll probably make me a little bit lazy, but so be it. So let's wrap this video up real quick and give you my thoughts. Okay, so you can just see we just wrapped up that video. Did a little fumbling around with the camera and everything there, but that's okay. That's a part of showing you all the real from the fake. But like I say, this little Bosch, the GLM 20, this is a great little tool to keep in your tool bag. It's only, think of it at the time I purchased it and right now it still retails on Amazon for like $39.99, so 40 bucks. Great little tool to keep in your bag. Um, like I say, especially when you're trying to reach, you know, if you get much past five, six feet or so with a tape measure, unless you've got just a some type of fat max or an extra wide strong tape measure it'll make it even more difficult to try to get that measurement you need but this right here i think it can cure a lot of that heartache and pain by just making that little initial investment and i've got to look and see i don't know but i'm pretty sure they sell some type of um, little carrying pouch for it so i want most definitely want to put put it inside of something to keep it protected from moving and jawing around but that's all for today's video just wanted to show you all this product by Bosch. And I think you should, I highly recommend you go out and get you one and keep it in your tool bag. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts if there's anything else you'd like to see me do with it. Um, like I say, it's got a 65 foot max range distance. But like I say, it's up to an eighth of an inch accuracy. So it's a pretty good little tool. But that's all for now. Thank you all for taking the time out to view the content on this channel. Until next time, we'll see you again.